A driving test is passed by 70% of people at their first attempt. Find the probability that exactly 5 out of 8 randomly selected people pass at their first attempt. To solve this question, we use the binomial distribution function given by 1. Here, the probability of success is given, which is 70%. And if we simplify this, we get that the value of P is 0 0.7. From this we can get the value of Q which is 1 minus P. If we substitute the value of P and simplify this, we get that Q is equal to 0 0.3. Now here all the people are 8 and from 8 we select 5 people. So we need to find the probability of success of five people which can pass the test at their first attempt. We substitute values in one and then we get probability of x equal to five is equal to eight c five p power R, so the value of P is 0.7 and R is 5. Q, the value of Q is 0 0.3, 8 minus 5. And now we simplify this by using combination. This is equal to 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 5 factorial into 5 factorial. 0 0.7 power 5 into 0 0.3 8 minus 5 is 3 and now by using calculator we can find that this is equal to 56 into 0 0.7 power 5 this is equal to 0 0.168 into 0 0.3 whole power 3 that is equal to 0 0.027 and if we multiply we get 0 0.254 and that is the required solution that's all. There is a 15% chance of rain on any particular day during the next 14 days. Find the probability that during the next 14 days it rains on number one exactly two days, number two at most two days. To solve part number one, we can see that here the probability of success is given. The value of P is 15 percent. And if we simplify this, we get that P is equal to 0 0.15. From this we can get the value of Q which is 1 minus P if we substitute the value of P and simplify this. We can get the value of Q which is equal to 0 0.85. Now here all days are 14 and we need to find probability that it will rain on exactly two days. So probability of x is equal to 2 is our task. So the value of r is equal to 2 here. And now we can use formula number 1 to find probability of x is equal to 2. So just substituting values in formula number 1 we get 14 C 2 P power 2 into Q power 14 minus 2. And now by using combination we can write this is 14 factorial divided by 
14 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial 0 0.15 square into 0 0.85 14 minus 2 from this we can get 12 and now if we use calculator and further simplify this we get that this is equal to 0 0.291 and that's all probability of x is equal to 2 is given by this one in part number B, we shall find the probability that it rains on at most two days. So, we shall find probability of x less than or equal to 2. Now, how to find the value of probability of x less than or equal to 2? Probability of x less than or equal to 2 is equal to probability of x is equal to 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1 plus probability of x is equal to 2. Now let us find probability of x is equal to 0. So in this case r is 0. So we write by using formula number 1 14 c0 0, 0 0.15 power 0 0 0.85 power 14 minus 0 plus now we shall find probability of x is equal to 1 so in this case r is 1 we use formula number 1 and we write 14 c1 0 0.15 power 1 into 0 0.85 power 14 minus 1 plus let us find probability of x is equal to 2 so in this case the value of r is 2 again we are using formula number 1 and we write 14 c2 0 0.15 power 2 into 0 0.85 power 14 minus 2. Now we can simplify this. By using calculator we can find that the value of first part is 0 0.103 plus the value of the second part is equal to 0 0.254 plus the value of third term or third part that is equal to 0 0.291 and if we add these numbers we get that this is 0 0.648 and that's all. A factory makes electronic circuit boards and on average 0.3% of them have a minor fault. Find the probability that a random sample of 200 circuit boards contains number 1 exactly 1 with a minor fault, number 2 less than 2 with a minor fault. Let us solve part number 1. Here we can see that the value of P is given which is equal to 0.3 percent. This can be written as 0.3 divided by 100 and from this we can get the value of P which is 0 0.003. Now from this we can obtain the value of Q which is equal to 1 minus P if we substitute the value of P and simplify this we get that the value of Q is 0 0.997. Now in this question total circuits are 200 so N is equal to 200 and we need to find the probability 
that exactly one will have a minor fault. So in other words, we need to find probability of x is equal to 1. We use formula number 1 to find probability of x is equal to 1. So just substitute values in 1. We have the value of n is 200. The value of r is 1. p is 0 0.003. Q is 0 0.997 whole power 200 minus 1. And now when we simplify this by using calculator, we can find that the solution is 0 0.530 and that's all. In part number B, we shall find the probability that less than 2 have a minor fault. In other words, we shall find probability of x less than 2. To find probability of x le less than 2, we can write it as probability of x is equal to 1, sorry, 0 plus probability of x is equal to 1. First we need to find probability of x is equal to 0 and then probability of x is equal to 1. So let us find probability of x is equal to 0 which means here r is 0. So we can write 200 c 0. Now p power 0. So 0 0.003 power 0. Q power, the value of Q is this one, power 200 minus 0. Now, we have to find probability of x is equal to 1, which means R is 1 here. Again, we use formula number 1 and we write 200 C1 P power 1 q power 200 minus 1 and if we simplify this by using calculator from the first part we get 0 0.548 from the second part we get 0 0.330 and if we add we get 0 0.8 seven, eight, and that is the solution. That's all.